At 16, in the spring of 1939, John was drawing nude models in Paris. It was illegal for a child of his age in, uh, in England. Uh, and he was all set to go on to the Mediterranean, to the south, to get the life he wanted, but he was held back by approaching World War II, and he was forced back to England. And he regarded it as the most, enormal, uh, most enormous um, personal inconvenience. He was basically trapped in England for the next seven years. When he was 19, he was called up for military service. He failed his, his uh, medical spectacularly. He actually had undiagnosed tuberculosis. So he needed that hot, dry climate more than he ever knew. So having failed this, this medical, he went home and did this uh, amazing picture. He was 19. This was completed in, the, in Christmas week of 1941. It's called uh, Poet and Landscape. And the poet in the corner here is John himself reading uh, William Blake poems while awaiting the verdict of the medical. And this is basically a picture of war without war ever um, coming um, in, in, onto the obvious plane. It, it's, 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 a, it's a metaphor for war. This tree here has become a, a war machine. It's marching across the landscape. It's, it's demolished these crops like skittles. And this foreground branch has lanced this leaf. So it's, 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 a, it's a machine of war. And this is basically a romantic painting turning romanticism on its head. So this figure is no longer hiding out in the landscape. He's hiding out from the landscape in his own head because the landscape is all about danger. And the, uh, the, the, the crescent moon, the symbol of, of, of romantic art, is now a symbol of danger. Already it's called a bomber moon because it lets the bombers in and you can be killed by it. So it's, this is all about entrapment and it's, it's, the, it's the template for what John would do during the war, um, which would make him a poster boy really for neo-romantic art. He hated the term neo-romantic, but, but he was definitely identified with it. And this is the model for all these later pictures where John is basically the figure in, uh, the, the lonely figure in a menaced landscape longing to get away. <laughs>